here in Africa, for instance. Now, you're very excited about saying that climate change is not happening, but how about the other effects that you could fight with, for instance, wind power, or local health effects and the like? Well, uh, wind farms are very dangerous to the health of those living near them. And we what is found this in the United Kingdom. Well, they, they, have, they cause a repetitive flickering of the light and also a repetitive sound, which is deeply disturbing, particularly at night, to people living within about a kilometre of them. The, the, the this, is, this has proven to be a very big problem in the United Kingdom and in other European countries. So those and countries in Britain we are now thinking of adopting regulations to make sure that these windmills are not built near human habitation. So the closer you live to a windmill, the uh, more problems you will have mentally? I don't know whether it's mental or physical, I'm no expert. What I do know is that there are formidable health problems and these are now going to have to be addressed by regulation. Meaning that in countries like Denmark, for instance, which has a lot of, of, uh, of wind power, mm. uh, that population is clearly at risk. Well, I, I don't know how the, where the windmills are. If they're far enough away from they're populations, then there's no risk. If they're close to populations, then it may be that the population is at risk to some extent. And yes. compared to a coal power plant, you would say that the risk is bigger with wind? Well, yes, of course it is, because you've got to factor in how much electricity they generate. And per kilowatt hour generated, coal-fired power stations are a whole lot safer than windmills are, which are prone to blow up catch fire as one did in Scotland just yesterday, throw off their turbines and slice people, they kill people in their construction. They have, per kilowatt hour generated, quite a bad record of killing people. So if you live nearby a wind power plant, you would say, uh, get the hell out of there? No, I would say, if you can find some way of sabotaging the windmill, I should not recommend that you should do that, but it's very difficult to stop.